What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at a little game called Home Wars. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. I think you're gonna like this game. I think it's an interesting little title. If you ever liked army men and you like starship troopers, it's kind of the same thing. And so you are little green army men who are tasked with holding bugs off inside of your house and scavenging materials and kind of doing a little bit of the sapper action. You can build defenses, you can build armies. I mean, if you're a tactician, you'll like this game. If you're the kind of person that just wants to make like badass huge armies and just have explosions all over the screen, you'll probably like this game. So without further ado, let's jump on in. We're gonna check it on out, do like a little one, two episode show off of what the game has to offer. New campaign! So now that we're in the new campaign, I'm actually going to lower this ever so slightly. I think the default value is 80 allies on screen or something like that, I think. I actually had that turned up because I was playing around with some stuff in my previous playthrough trying to see how it varied, like your tactical situation and whether or not getting overwhelmed was easier to deal with. Uh, the campaigns that we have, it's Double Hallway, Veranda's Beach, I mean there's a bunch of little campaigns inside of here. We're just going to go with the default one since that's probably going to be the one that you'll end up playing if you buy this game after checking out the video. We're starting in 2017, we got a turn every day, everything looks good to me. And so we will go ahead and get the game started so you can get a feel for what it is all about. Alright, so welcome... To Home Wars. I'm gonna say start to kick some asses, but I never stopped in the first place, so it's semi-debatable if I need to start again. I'm like a never-ending conveyor belt of butt-kicking. Uh, this is the house we're supposed to be defending right here. It's broken up into some bedrooms, a supply room, a living room, it's got a kitchen, it's got a dining room. Pretty nice house, all things considered, actually. Way nicer than my house, that's for sure. This is kind of like a badass pad. Pretty nice house. Uh, but anyways, there's a couple things that you want to be aware of. There are special rooms. So, like, for example, the storage room gives us tons of materials, whereas the kitchen and the dining room tend to give the bugs a ton of materials because the bugs are after food. Uh, the bugs want either rotten food, fresh food, or high-protein food in order to level themselves up and make their nest better. So their goal is just to find objectives and bring them back and get themselves fed until they get so strong that you can't defeat them. And eventually, I assume, the owner of the house calls a fumigator. Our goal is to hold them off. Uh, if you click on this little bar up inside of here, it's going to give us our management menu where you can see that we've got rough versions and refined versions of a bunch of different materials. These are for, used for bullets, they're used for bombs, they're used for units, all that kind of stuff. This game actually has a little bit of a grand strategy bent to it, which you don't really think about when you first start playing. When I started playing it, I thought it was just an RTS game where you set up random battles a la uh, Totally Awesome Battle Simulator or Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, whatever, I don't play that game. Uh, when you set it up, you know, and then you just watch them fight each other. Not so. This game actually has a pretty considerable, like, management and micromanagement aspect to it as well. Uh, we've got our intelligence menu, which we know about the bugs. Uh, this is what I'm talking about when they level up. They get new bug forms as they get stronger and stronger. They get, like, crickets. They get all kinds of, like, little blata orientalis, which is a cockroach. They get spiders. They get all kinds of little things. So if you're freaked out by bugs, this game probably ain't for you. This is our recruitment menu, where we're going to put together our squads so that we can fight. Uh, this is our logistical menu as far as ammunition is concerned. That's right. You even have to manage ammunition in this game like you have to craft ammunition you can't just drop thousand kilogram bombs on the enemy all day like you couldn't like command and conquer you actually have to build enough of them to keep the bombings going through and you need supply trucks to keep like ammo going out to the troops and stuff like that this is our research menu it allows us to get new vehicles and do all kinds of fun stuff uh i think that we'll probably go with oh i don't know there's assault vehicles heavy fighting vehicles recon vehicles Let's go ahead and we'll unlock the recon vehicle for right now. And then we'll go to the general menu and we'll get the supply truck. Because the supply truck allows us to heal our guys on the front line. And on top of that, it'll allow them to get ammunition refilled, which is great. If you're playing around with like artillery and whatnot, howies and stuff like that, they tend to run out of ammo pretty quick. So having a truck around could really help. There's a market here where we can buy more supplies if we want them. But other than that, there's not a whole lot of stuff to talk about. I mean, I don't want to bore you with all the menu stuff in between. Uh, if you go to this menu, then this menu right here, you can manage your headquarters. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is where we're going to be producing plastics. This is where we're going to be doing all kinds of little things. I usually start out with a plastic factory, which will turn 30 rough plastic into 600 refined plastic every turn. I usually go with a metal factory, and I usually go with a power station on the first turn. Just so you've got all of your bases covered. So you're producing metal, you're producing plastic, and you're producing batteries for all the random little toys you're using to fight the enemy. Cool stuff, right? We'll close the management panel, and for today, there's not really much else to do, so let's end it. So having seen the game get ended right there, the bugs haven't invaded yet. We now have 600 plastic that we didn't have previously. 
Since we have a little bit of plastic, I'd say getting an army up right now as fast as possible is probably our smartest plan. Just so I can like rush some stuff, I'm gonna get some recon vehicles going. We can only make like three of them. Yeah. Three of them should allow me to run around a little bit. And I don't think they get to move on their first turn. But we need to start grabbing some of these neighboring rooms. And if we don't, we're going to have a lot of problems with that. And so there we go. I'm going to grab this room on the next turn, this room on the next turn. Because we want to get... If you look over here, you'll see that our production... We're getting 40 plastic right now. Every room gives us some stuff. So if you click on the flag, this room gives us 30 plastic, 5 metal, 10 toxic, 4 incendiary, and 2 something rather. Or maybe I've got it backwards. That might be some kind of incendiary. Meh. I don't know anything about anything. It looks like chemical material. There we go. And then toxic is the light green. Well, we've captured two rooms for right now. I don't suppose you can go in there right now. Okay, it doesn't matter if you can. I don't care. It is irrelevant. Uh, we can also merge armies if we need to. So later on, I wouldn't trip out too much if we need to. Uh, we'll keep making some more recon vehicles. They are expensive, but by the time we decide we're gonna recon vehicles are crazy good in this game I've got a sneaking suspicion. They're gonna get nerfed at some point because they're actually like really 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 good Having a lot of recon trucks never hurts like I always try to have a ton of them because I like them and I think they're good I will move you guys Nope, there's no mission here. No mission at all. Uh, you go over to here You go over to here I want to capture everything I can in the early game so that at the bare minimum we're stockpiling supplies at like a utterly absurd rate. Let's manage our headquarters real fast and I'm gonna add another plastic factory right there. I think that'll do it. I think another plastic factory sounds nice. That'll allow us to actually start making like real armies before this gets too out of hand. Uh, we've captured a lot of territory. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. If they take the hallway on this turn, that'll be slightly concerning. But I'm not gonna freak out about it. Uh, I'm gonna take them into the bathroom. I'm gonna bring these guys back over here, but if I have to, I will retreat and like fall back and not fight the enemy. Uh, I don't want to lose any units right now. Basically, I'm just trying to steal as many resources as I can right this second. Uh, the other thing you probably want to build is a little thing called an academy. Uh, the academy costs you metal and batteries, but it's nice because it gives you like... 10 XP a turn so that you can unlock new units. That's kind of a cool thing about it that makes it a nice thing to have. Really, you don't have to fight the enemy right now. You can sort of just wait on it and hope that they don't level very fast. They will attack this point in just a minute. I don't think I want to deal with that. Instead, these guys are going to retreat back to here. We're going to let them have that for right now because we sniped these rooms over here and we'll retake them if we need them. Basically, I don't want to be fighting over resources in this contested territory the entire time we're playing the game. Instead, I want to have things in the outlying areas where they're less likely to attack so that I can have my cake and eat it too. Uh, basically, I want them to not be focused on me. We've got 10 XP for right now. We've got enough right there to where we could probably start making even more recon trucks. Instead, I'm going to make light riflemen. I know this is a mistake because light riflemen are like freaking doo-doo. Like, they're terrible. But it's better than nothing. And so where are my vehicles at? We'll give them a supply truck. Cool. Um couple recon vehicles and then we'll create that army right there so that gives us a little bit more oomph to push back for if the enemy tries to come after us how is our production looking right now our production is looking super swell so i'm okay with it end the day oh i gotta do the defense first so you have to seed the territory in this game it won't let you pass your turn unless you've been like defend retreat and then once you do that they'll be like okay and the bugs will take this spot on the next turn and hopefully they'll be happy and they'll stop dicking around and ruining my life uh, we will have to attack that spot pretty soon. Apparently, they were not able to take it. What is this right here? 22 groups of Culex Pippians. And this is 18 groups and 14 groups of Formusca Fusca. Okay, so that's bad. That's really bad. Um, it's not a good look at the moment. But we can get like some armies up, like 150 soldiers or so, to really fight these guys off. I think we'll be okay. What is that right there? That's recon vehicles. 
Okay. Uh, let me go ahead, and we don't have anything for unlocks right now. Actually, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get into the unlocks, and I'd like to give myself a uh, damage multiplier at some point, just to make us kill shit a little bit quicker, but it's not an option right now. We want to make a new army. Uh, we will go infantry. We'll go in on, like, that right there. Then we'll go vehicles. That looks okay to me. Create a new army. They don't have any upkeep or anything like that, so really what I like to do is I'll make like a giant massive force that just floods in and wipes them out in this room in like a couple of turns. If I bring him down to here, I don't think he has to fight. I think he can retreat and he'll fall out of the zone, but we'll find out in a minute. So I have to defend. Uh, we will retreat. I don't think he goes back the way that he wants to go. Oh, they're going to leapfrog me, huh? Okay. That sucks, but that actually splits up their force nicely, and so we should be able to make this happen over here. I've never played around with the assault vehicles, so we'll see how this goes. Like, I've heard that they're really good. My last playthrough, I used a bunch of howitzers and, like, sappers and stuff. And so we'll see what happens here. Uh, we're going to hit them with our army. This is the bigger group of the enemy. It's Bug Swarm Zero. I can actually rename their armies as well. I'm going to name them a bunch of turds. There we go. Because that's what they are. A bunch of turds. Okay. Well, let's see what we got going on here. This is our first battle. Let's do this thing. Welcome to the battlefield, Commander. This is the place where I will probably horribly mismanage my resources and die. I'm just letting you know I'm not good at this game. I'm playing this game purely to show it off so that people know that it exists because I like the concept of the game. That doesn't mean I'm any good at it. And so we'll drop some of our soldiers, like over here, there we go. Get some soldiers up in here. And then we'll just go, like, recon vehicles all around to the back. Because we have the battle points for it, so why wouldn't we? I mean, the game uses kind of like a Warhammer 40k system of having troops around. Oh, really? There's too many troops on the battlefield. Apparently they count as, we're supposed to be allowed to have 80 troops on the battlefield, but that count doesn't come out to 80 to me. Doesn't come out to 80 to me at all. Interesting. Eh, whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop that on off. we got plenty of ammunition. Let's start the battle. And then you've also got like a pre-deployment period. So we've got 90 seconds because we're on defense that we can sort of move our units around and put them in places we want them to go. And so like with our recon vehicles, I'd like them to be somewhere near like the back so that they're like kind of protected. Like, places where they can fire on the enemy, for sure. I think all of the bugs were going to be coming from this direction. Let me see if I can gather up some of these little guys right now. As far as I know, there's no formation menus or anything like that. I looked around for a little bit while I was in combat. The AI, obviously, is not super intelligent. The pathfinding is not incredibly great, but, you know, it's an indie title. Sometimes ideas get outrun by the pragmatism of getting something up and functioning. Uh, we've got vehicles over here, so let's go ahead and put this little pod right here. Very nice. That's almost perfectly how I envisioned it in my head, sort of. Got a couple of vehicles right there. Pull this dude up. Pull that dude to there. That dude to there. And that looks like a pretty solid spread to me. Let's go ahead and tell the enemy we're ready and just, uh, there's a couple of soldiers back here that are like stuck and messed up. And frankly, this flank is looking a little infantry light. So maybe I'll uh, spread them out ever so slightly. Bring a couple over here like so, so we don't have overextended people either. There we go, that looks good. Call it ready, we got two seconds left anyways. So why are we dithering and wasting our time? Here come the bugs, here comes the bugs. They're flying and trying to kill us, but it's not gonna work. Cause I got pesticide. We're gonna we're gonna absolutely blap these dudes. Look at that shit. On these shields, guys. On these shields. Don't let them in. Everybody just gun them down. Take care of business. Now their objective is to destroy our outpost over here. Uh, the real way that this could truly go wrong is if we run out of ammo, because I didn't bring a supply truck. But when people start to die, I can reinforce with the troops that we have left, and we can hopefully get ourselves set up to where it's not quite as bad. Dude, these vehicles are churning through these guys. Good lord. That is a hell of a task right there that they are accomplishing reasonably well, actually. I didn't expect them to be this proficient at bug killing, but they're doing okay. 
A lot of these bugs are going to try and make a beeline for the base, so we don't have to worry about them damaging our troops too much. Some of the little guys in the front have taken a tiny bit of damage, but hopefully, as time goes along, we'll be able to hold this thing. Uh, we can actually take control of these right here if we want to by pressing the Q key, and then we can just kind of like get in here and you know, start shooting at bugs. Uh, the AI is quite a bit better at aiming than we are. Just something to keep in mind, and so I don't tend to, like, control my vehicles very much because the AI is aimbody as hell, and you are not. And the aiming is already a little bit spotty in first person, so I wouldn't stress about it. Recon vehicles, man, carrying the day. Who knew? Who knew? I was here playing with howitzers and sappers and all kinds of stuff, and apparently all you need to win in this game is recon vehicles. Damn, dude. That's pretty brutal. These guys know how to get it done. Uh, we will have to kind of slog forward. Sometimes the bugs get stuck in various areas of the map. And so you are going to have to dig them out of the corners every now and again because they'll get stuck like underneath tables and things like that as you're playing through. Obviously the game's got some rough edges, but I think the overall idea of the game is fairly cogent and well executed. I think it was pretty cool how they decided to do everything. And so there it is. We've won our battle. Let's go ahead and end it. On this menu here, you'll see kind of the butcher's bill of how everything went down. Everything looks good. I don't think we lost any vehicles. It looks like the recon vehicles did 30,000 damage. Holy shit. Dude, to put that in perspective, I had two columns of howitzers firing into the center of like thousands of ants in my last playthrough over and over again. And through an entire battle, they only did 23,000 damage. And that was with perfect positioning and like amazing barrages that were just going perfectly well. That's pretty incredible, actually. I'm surprised that worked out. Let's go ahead and close that on down. That means that we should have held this position. We can attack it back now and then we'll walk it on over. That will neuter their supplies ever so slightly. Uh, this guy will more than likely come back over here and try to fight us for this spot, but I'm not gonna allow it. I'm not gonna allow it for a second. We don't have enough XP for any unlocks right now. I would absolutely adore a howitzer or something like that. Can this thing even shoot? It's fast and agile, escapes most enemies, and turns back to attack when it's ready. The armor is not its strength, but it's got two 762 rotary cannons. Ooh. I might pick up a helicopter next. That sounds kind of sexy. I sort of want it. I, I can feel a little burning desire deep down in my stomach. I've got a burning desire. Plant it deep in my soul. We can also have another plastic factory over here without getting ourselves into too much trouble. What is our... What's our chemical production look like? 33. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put in another plastic factory right here. We don't have enough resources. We don't. Oh, we don't have enough metal. Okay, you can't stop the metal. All right, that sounds good. Well, then instead what we'll do is I was trying to get our production up so that we could get ahead of the enemy and make sure that we always have something going on. I'm just going <laughs> to... More recons! This is kind of like, you know how in Command & Conquer you would finish, like, you would figure out, like, a winning strategy and you would just exploit the hell out of that with, like, light tanks or, like, medium tanks or whatever else? Uh, you guys have already moved on this turn. I can only hope that we don't get pincered from both directions. That shit would suck. Uh, I'm actually going to have to cede this territory, so we'll retreat on that. We'll end the day, and hopefully they don't have too much coming after us here. Uh, we can attack several territories. They have taken the vast majority of the house, and so swiping some shit early was probably a good plan. Is this group easier or harder than the last group that came through? You move over to here. We've got metal again, so we're going to use this as a turn to get our production taken care of. We'll go in and we'll get another plastic factory. Boom. And then I want another power station as well, but that's going to cost me 40. So it's going to be a couple turns until I can make that happen, but we're going to have amazing turns of plastic production for like a long, long time before that even becomes an issue. Uh, so I'm going to defend it. We'll retreat. We'll hit that a little bit later. We're going to end the day right now. And so there it is. I knew these little bastards would come after me eventually. You filthy bug bastards! We're coming for you! What makes the grass grow, ladies? Plastic! Um, I don't think that's... Sir, I don't think that's true. Gunny, I don't think that... Don't correct your gunny! I'd say that's probably a pretty decent idea. I apologize, sir. This is actually a little bit rougher because this is a control-the-point scenario, which I was hoping we wouldn't get this early in the game because we don't really have the logistical resources to win this one as of right now. Well, what I can do is we're mostly just going to go with vehicles on this one, in all fairness, because we need to be able to move quickly, and infantry is just not going to do that for us. I need to have vehicles like ready to go in here that can just go the distance, 
and be on their way if they can be strong. And then we'll put in a supply truck that can follow them around. If I can have inventory, cool. But I'm probably not going to utilize them a whole lot. There we go. So we've maxed out our allocation. And that's why I didn't take these trucks and move into the next zone over. Because I figured this was probably going to get hit by a hell of a force on our way over there. Uh, let's go ahead and you guys move on up to there. Uh, you guys kind of make a line over here in all honesty. We'll make like... You know, I don't want any of my trucks to be overly exposed. I think the enemy was... Where were they coming from? Over there. Okay. So move trucks basically in a... Oh, we've got stuff coming from everywhere. Good lord. Okay. Well, with how that goes, protect the supply truck. Uh, keep it all nice and bonded down. Yeah, they're going to come from that side too. So in all fairness, I think our best idea is just to hold a line up here. Let's go ahead and take one truck, and we're going to use him to grab whatever ones are undefended over here. And so that way we'll start accumulating a little bit of a deficit, because I actually plan on winning this fight by killing all the enemies. I don't plan on winning this necessarily by taking points and actually playing the game the way it's meant to be played. I plan to win by flat out just like butchering them in the field and then in going and taking all the positions uncontested once they're all dead. Uh, if they stop coming from this way, I'll stop worrying about it, but it looks like they're still pretty intent on deploying over there. Uh, we are ahead as far as the point spread is concerned. Yikes, we have lots of these little bastards coming in, don't we? It's okay. I think they're going to be so busy. Uh, get the infantry over here to reinforce them. I think they're holding it down just fine on this side. So I'm going to reform the infantry to this side so that none of these have to worry about taking too much damage. Uh, go ahead and move that truck over to there because this stuff appears to be taking the worst damage out of the grouping. That should allow him to be repaired so I can put parts inside of there. I think all of their requisition is used up on this side of the field. So we're going to go ahead and strengthen this flank. And we're going to put a little bit of pressure over here. We're just going to scoot them forward. Hey, one truck, come capture this for me. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of pressure on this side so that anybody kind of reforming to this side just gets butchered on the way out. But yeah, so far I'm pretty impressed with these supply trucks. I really sincerely am. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll start taking a couple of these units out to each location. And seeing if maybe we can hold down some of these goodies. They are a little bit ahead in the point spread right now, but they are way, way down on the casualty lists. They have gotten butchered this entire time. I love the little sound effects and everything, too. This game is like... It's weird, because this game is so rough around the edges, and yet it's so fun. Like, I don't know. I've been playing the hell out of it out of the last couple days, and I've really been having a blast with it. So if you like Home Wars, you should definitely check it out. I, I think it's the kind of game that's going to make a lot of people a little husky. Get them all excited about shooting bugs and making the grass grow and all that. I... There's bugs around that we haven't killed yet. Let me look around for him. Huh, I can't find where the last bug is. He's around here somewhere. I just can't seem to locate him, so... I suppose we'll just rush this one on out until he shows up. Sometimes you can get a view of him by zooming out on the room. But occasionally they get, like, stuck. And so there'll be, like, a bug stuck in the plant. Or there'll be, like, a bug stuck underneath one of the dressers or something like that. And you just can't seem to find him. Either way, we've got all the points captured, so... It should end on our terms pretty shortly. And so there it is. After a minute or two, victory is ours. Congratulations, General. Today the victory belongs to the Allies. Many battles won lead to winning a war. In that combat, we managed to do quite a bit in all honesty. Look at the difference between what the infantry did and what the, the trucks did. Like, good lord, man. I definitely sense a nerf coming in. There's no way that there's not a nerf coming for this. Uh, you go attack that very quickly. Oh, shit. No, don't do that. Can you guys all move over there? Oh, you can. Well, maybe I will take some of these columns over here then. And we'll go ahead and take this back real fast. We'll leave some people over there. But I'm going to make another division of armor to go over to that side. So, recon ve Oh, shit. No, I don't want to do that. You can also change the weapons on some of the vehicles so that they're a little, little different. There it is, and so we will create a new army. Uh, frankly, we... Oh, we have enough XP to get something new. Hooray, let's get something new. Uh, with the aircraft, we can go for, like, a machine gun at 120. As far as vehicles go, we've got tanks. Tanks sound pretty dope. I'd be pretty excited. Oh, yeah, we wanted the aircraft. Let's save for the helicopter. I want a helicopter. I'm going to save up for a helicopter. It's going to be sick. 
I might as well just bring them all over here in all fairness, and then we'll defend on this side, and then next turn we'll come back over to here. So, defensive mission. Let's do this thing. Uh, it's not that many groups of enemies. We should be able to route them pretty easily without any problems. I think we're looking good. I've actually never fought a battle in the shitter before, so this should be kind of interesting. It's a little bit cramped, so I don't see artillery being very useful in here. But this is the perfect map for what we've got going on, which is just a shit ton of trucks. We're playing this like an orc army. That's all we need is trucks. T-R-U-K-K-S and knob riders. That's all that matters, dude. That's all that matters is knob bikers. That's all we ever needed. Although I think they got nerfed in the newest edition. Knob bikers were dope back and forth, though. They took their cover with them. What a bunch of savages. Start the battle off, and then we will move these guys over to here. We're going to trap them. We will fight them by the toilet. We will fight them by the weird plasterboard cabinet. We will fight them by the shower. Let it be known that the green armies will never turn away from tyranny. The democracy of green shall be enforced mandatorily upon all bugs. All bugs. All. The little... The... The th our our bullhorn has to our bullhorn has to echo otherwise it's not as cool. I do wish there was a way you could grab like so if I look down from here like sometimes I feel like it would be cool here bring infantry over and honestly there's such a negligible factor here anyways that no one gives a shit. Just there we go. You guys just kind of make a nice little blob like nice little column right here. There you go. And then, I don't know, put the infantry at the front because I feel bad. Like, it's... They don't get to see any action. They don't get to see any action. What I should do is I should assign these all to groups. Like, one. And then we can double-click, I think, to grab all of a similar type. And then we can use the standard uh, key binding from every RTS ever. I think the best place for you to be is, like, right there. That looks good. This truck's going to take some damage, though. So I'll give him a little scoot. Get out of the way! Beep, beep. All right, we're ready. That's the tab key that takes us to that over menu, by the way. Here they come. The bugs are right. Oh, shit, I can go through the floor. The bugs are coming. Destroy them. Donnie, I can't feel my legs. Tell my wife I love her. I'm like, dude, stop being melodramatic. We're not even in combat yet. Sorry, bro. I get into stuff that's thematic. I'm going to have to bring some of these trucks up. Otherwise, I'm never going to get... Dude, the range on these things. Holy bejesus, dude. These trucks are amazing. I can't believe I never bought them before. I've never used these before. These are the best. Although the enemy does have, like, a considerable column, and it's getting closer. I don't know how I feel about all this. They're trying to flank us, too, man. They're, like, around us on every side. This is a little scary right now. Oh, no. This is the closest they've ever gotten. The trucks have reasonable armor, though, so... I mean, and they're actively repairing while we're fighting. Oh, it's because they're going after our base. I, pro I probably should have used the base as cover and set up behind it. Probably would have worked out a little bit better. Alright, onesies, get over here. Get over here and clean them on up. Oh, he ran out of repair supplies. That supply truck right there. He's got zero supplies remaining. Man, that was an ass-kicking right there. We got, like, all up in those spinnerets. That thorax got dealt with. Uh, we got four experience for that one. We got some refined metal, some rough metal. All looks good to me. Uh, my suggestion would be that we attack, we walk over it, and then that's solid. Like, we've basically got our foothold now. Uh, presuming that they don't hit us right here and rush straight through and we don't have to do any cleanup duty anymore, we should be all right. Uh, this game is called Home Wars. If you guys like what you see so far, let me know. Leave comments, leave likes, and I will do my best to play a little bit more here on the channel. I like the game a lot, and so I thought you would like it, so I figured I'd make a couple episodes. See y'all later. Hi-do, everybody.